Oh, shoot. <laughs> Out of food. This is a major incident. <laughs> We're not going to be able to feed anybody. <laughs> That's not a good sign. The park's been open for 25 minutes and we're out of food. <laughs> Welcome to the flip side and welcome to another first episode of Jurassic World the game where we are starting fresh with a brand new account uh, all the way back in uh, yeah anyway at the beginning stages of this game of life if you will um, yeah here we are back in Jurassic World the game took a poll asked you guys if in revisiting the series if you guys wanted to continue the old account in which we ended after we got the Indoraptor, or uh, since it's been such a long time, I asked if you guys just wanted to see a playthrough from scratch, starting from the very beginning. And uh, it's just a, a vast majority won out in saying they want to see a brand new playthrough. So here we are at the very beginning of Jurassic World, the game, now playing on an iPad instead of the super buggy computer uh, Blue Stacks version that we were playing for a little while. So it'll be nice to play on something that's supposedly a smoother experience where it's not crashing every five seconds. <laughs> Here's open. We'll see how it actually goes. So, so much has happened in this game since the last time I was here. And I know there's... Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Back at level two. I know there's season passes and everything now, but it would appear that we are not a high enough level to even do or participate in said season passes. <laughs> We're still kind of in the tutorial level right now. Um, I did play through enough to get us out of like the explicit tutorial, but we're still at the beginning of the game where it's still trying to, you know, teach us how to play so that we know actually what we're doing. Um, and that's kind of a good thing because it has been a hot minute since we've played this. And so the all of the tutorials might be actually a little bit helpful so that I can remember what the heck we're actually doing with, <laughs> with our lives here. Um, so here we go. I have been so enjoying playing Jurassic World Alive that it has given me renewed enthusiasm for this game, even though I've not played it in a long, long time. But I am going to try and keep an open mind. These are not typically the kind of games that I really enjoy playing, but I've just been enjoying the dinosaur stuff so much lately that I'm hoping that it carries over to a new playthrough of this game even if we are starting from the very beginning but very similarly to what we are doing right now in Jurassic World Alive we will be spending all sorts of monies <laughs> to progress a little bit quicker so if you have a weird aversion to spending in mobile games this might not be the place for you my friend but uh hopefully you stick around yeah I'm excited I'm excited we're already level three boom Check it out. I mean, I was already level two and a half before I started this video, but hey, let's let's not let's not. Uh, oh man, I gotta. I hopefully that doesn't show up in the recording. Where's my focus? Do not disturb. <laughs> I hope I remember to block that notification out because that had part of my bank account number on it. So we're going to definitely Jacob. Don't forget that, dude. Okay, collect loyalty points from any card pack and use them on exclusive. We know all about loyalty benefits let's go ahead can we sign up for that yet wait what is it already count vip center wait are we already vips because we were vips on the other account did that just transfer over to us that doesn't make a whole lot of sense completing missions is the best way to get xp and level up place a acu security office and place a fountain so here's the thing last time we played this it was a bit of a mess, okay, in terms of the organization of the park. It was very functional in that we maximized our coin production for sure, but it was hideous and it was like impossible to actually see any of the dinosaurs that were that were in the park. So I'd like to, it's going to be hard in these early sections of the game here, but I'd like to have a little bit more thought put into the way that we organize it to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing so it doesn't look like such a disaster. 
which truly it was horrific <laughs> the way the park looked last time it's just lines of dinosaurs in a row across the park that made it look like it was some kind of just dna farm which is would you know just basically just a coin farm not dna farm it's a coin farm um unfortunate living conditions for the dinosaurs in the previous park so we're gonna try to <laughs> try to not let that happen again we'll see how that actually goes man we're leveling up left right and center right now i don't even know what i'm doing to get xp but we are <laughs> we're getting all sorts of it right now all right i still don't understand why or how i'm a vip quite frankly because i didn't purchase the vip on this account i have it on the other account uh, so don't know what's going on there, but hey, there's our season pass. <laughs> oh, great. Complete missions in order to earn season points. So this is new. This was not here last time. All right, so this season lasts for another two days and 17 hours. So we are definitely not going to be purchasing anything here. Um, okay, so we upgrade. It looks like just, oh, just $9.99 for the upgrade. Not bad. It's better than the $49.99 in Jurassic World Alive, but it didn't. we'll see how much extra stuff we get in this one versus that. Um, but obviously, not going to be spending the money to upgrade the pass when we're only at tier zero, which is just the best. All right. Wow. Starting from the beginning. Here we go. I got to really wrap my mind around losing all that progress, but I'm totally good with it because I'm actually pumped to do it again in a, in a way that I'm just... I'm just excited. Okay, listen, don't try to push push my brain by making me speak words, self. Because my head hurts. <laughs> All right, here we go. Attach this guy, so we'll have two of these bad boys. Alenka. Oh, crap. Oh, no. We already have a, a space emergency. All right, hold on, dude. Hold on. I got him. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm already out of space. It's okay, hold on, we're gonna just move some stuff around real quick. No, 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 Fountain, get back over here, dude. Where, where you think you're going? What the heck? Think you can just go wherever you want? False! You may not. You may only go where I tell you. Um, now, where did that dinosaur go? <laughs> okay, nope, nope. He right here, here he is. All right, so we get the whole intro again. Fantastic. He wants to let us know all over again that it has somehow been reborn twice. Okay, let's go ahead and get our 8,000 food, which at this point of our lives is significant, sadly. <laughs> but it is. All right, mission complete. We collected 50 coins. You're welcome, Owen. I am happy to be of service. Collect 200 food. Bam! Get bad, son. You think I'm a? You think I'm a noob? I am. I actually, I really am a noob still. All right, we're gonna get a free expansion up here, leveling up. Again, are we? Not quite. All right. Let's get our French friend. Have a Majungasaurus at level 11. So we need another one of these bad boys. Gotta do it, speed it up. Look at this go. There's something so satisfying about starting a new mobile game and just how quickly you, sp you can just progress in the very beginning. It really does kind of get you hooked into wanting to continue playing because you're like, oh yeah, look at how much progress I'm making. We're flying through this. Until uh, you get to a certain point. It's like, give us a million dollars to level up again. And at that point you're like, yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's do it, what a deal. All right, collect 150 coins from dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and level him up so we can get some more coin production out of him. Let's talk to Hoskins. He wants us to fight more. Of course he does, because he's a monster. Go ahead and grab a bump. Level six. Not quite. Not quite. We are almost to level six. Now let's move our aviary bird, birdieries. All right, let's see. Let's move the trike down right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come back down here. Right there. Perfect. I love it. Don't move. All right, let's move you up there, and you're too big. Okay, so you can live there for now. Or can you can you live there? You can live there. Okay, nice. Let's put you there. Let's put you. I liked you there, actually. That's nice. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> We're starting to clean it up a little bit. Oh, hey, we can just do this. Bam! Sweet. All right, so we're going to leave gaps for now. 
case you want to throw any decorations between to boost our coin production just a little bit. All right, this is looking nice. We'll get some ACU money. We'll go bam, 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 bam. Okay, we're still not even close to the 200. <laughs> it's all, only 150 coins we need to collect for this, but we're not quite there yet, which is okay. All right, let's go ahead and do the battle stage. Hoskins is dogging me right now. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll get a speed up out of it. All right, so let's see who's super effective against who again. All right, so we'll do this. Combination. All right, our Tropo versus a Lima Bean. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and rest. Man, I will tell you, the one turnoff that I, well, there were a couple things about this game that I didn't love last time. Um, <laughs> one of them being the fact that it crashed every four seconds, which was not really the fault of the game as much as it was the blue stacks thing that I was using. Um, so hopefully that issue won't be an issue, a problem this Let's Play. But another thing that I never loved about this game was the combat. But I am coming into this with an open mind and a renewed heart. <laughs> <laughs> really hoping to fall in love with the combat and the strategy henceforth there is air two into the combat two. Uh, we'll see. But here's the thing. I love, love the combat in Jurassic World Alive. I genuinely love that combat system. Because um, there's it's so simple, yet there's so much depth to it. And I wish so much that the Jurassic World Alive battle system would be in this game. Because that would change everything in terms of my perspective on this game. That would be so cool. Unfortunately, that is not the case. And so we're going to have to learn to appreciate the three button simplisticness. Simplisticnessness of, of this one. There is strategy to this system for sure. Um,. What I think I don't love about this system compared to like Jurassic World Alive, since we already made that comparison, we'll just keep rolling with it. What I like about the Alive version is every dinosaur feels unique because they all have their own moose sets. They have their own unique kits. They have, you know, their strengths and their weaknesses. And this one's got a counter attack and this one's got a stun attack. In this one, every dinosaur is exactly the same except for their stats. And that's what I never loved about it. And so when you're collecting new dinosaurs, it feels kind of, I mean, I know you collect dinosaurs to try to get hybrids so you can get more dinosaurs, but in combat, the dinosaurs don't feel unique from each other, which is something that I really like about the alive combat versus this one. But we are going to, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna enjoy it. For what it is we're not going to complain that was the that wasn't really a complaint that was more of an observation all right let's go ahead and get some land opening up here all right feeling a little bit claustrophobic so let's just keep let's see okay now we're gonna now we're converting the cash instead of coins to expand so that is where that's where we stop <laughs> that's it we, we go no further all right it wants us to compete in a pvp arena one time let's do it and we'll just go combination. There we go. This guy, six minutes. We need you, boy. We need you. So we're going to go like this. Two level 20s and a level 10. Let's see. Last time, we really never did any PvP battles. What we would do to get our daily objectives done is we would go into the PvP battle. <laughs> the PvP battle. And then we would immediately quit out because we would get the credit for doing the battle and we wouldn't have to sit here and actually do a PvP battle. But let's go ahead and do a battle here because why not? Why not? Why not just give it a shot and see what the heck we're going to be up against here. All right, so we used his first attack. All right, I'm probably going to die next turn, so let's just double attack this guy, get his health down because the rest of his dinos are level 1 and level 2. So if we can kill this col... col let's see. Colobernicus... Is that what this, the name of this mohawked fool is? This is what it looks like. All right. Sorry, Unicornosaurus. I'm, I apologize for getting you killed immediately. But you're fine. You're fine, dude. All right. Wow. Man. All my dinosaurs. So weak. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> I'm going to lose my first battle. <laughs> okay. This is going to take us time. It's going to take us a little bit of time to adjust here. Because <laughs> All right. He's got a defense. Did he save a point? 
You didn't. All right, and one, but one attack point is enough to kill us. <laughs> We're gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have saved the points instead of put him in defense. Okay. Well, uh, that's unfortunate, truly. All right, uh, well, we can just go, oh, I have to use all three or else it's not gonna be enough. All right, that's all right. We did a little bit of overkill, but it was necessary because we were gonna be like two damage away from death. All right, what's he gonna do with his four points, yo? What's he gonna do with his four points, yo? Okay, two to murder. That means to be sure to kill him, I need to use all four in attack. Let's go three in attack, one in defense, and hope he... Ah. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to save with one, and but he used... Yeah, he used it in defense. Okay. We are totally going to lose. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to have to use three in attack again. <laughs> oh All right, here we go. That's fine. It's fine. We might be okay. We got one in defense. We got a Triceratops. If he uses all four points, he'll only get three actual, uh, and we'll probably live. Actually, I think we got this. Maybe. Yeah, we got this. We're good, we're good, we're good, because all four will kill this guy, right? <laughs> like, it's like two toddlers just punching each other out right now. <laughs> it's like the weakest rosters in the world having this knockout, drag out fight. <laughs> But we did it. We did it. We won our first PvP battle. Perhaps we should just quit right now and never play again. And then we will go out on <laughs> we'll go out on top. Alright, do we have anything that's gonna be really useful? We don't have. Let's go ahead and just renew that guy real quick and then we'll go like this. <laughs> oh man. I'm already having a really good time. And uh, for all of you guys who uh, are sticking around to watch a new series of this. I really appreciate you. Thanks for joining me in this new adventure, in this new old adventure, which doing it all over again, I have a tendency, I do this a lot with other games, so I'm typically, I love RPGs, love them. Uh, we're talking Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Skyrim, Divinity, things like this. Love those games. And I so drive my wife crazy because I'm constantly restarting those games. <laughs> because I genuinely love the progression that you get to experience when you start a new game. And so it's not out of character for me to have progressed 79 episodes worth of progression in the other account. Just turn around and start over from scratch. But I'm super pumped about it. Uh, we are going to have to, like I said, get through some of the grindiness again but this is this is gonna be a good time it's gonna be fun so anyway thanks for being here that's what i was trying to get at but as i mentioned in a previous let's play um i just woke up from a nap because i had like this crazy migraine coming back from work today um from one of my meetings and just collapsed on my bed and took a bunch of excedrin, so my brain is not firing on all cylinders right now because half of it is swollen up to the and pushing against my skull currently. But it's no big deal. There's nothing to complain about. I'm just uh, making excuses for my errant commentary <laughs> that will undoubtedly be popping out of my mouth through the course of this of this episode in particular. All right, let's go ahead and throw down. Do we have any extra decorations lying around? We do not. So we'll throw another ACU office over here. Like I said, as we start to level up and kind of unlock a lot of the decorations and buildings, I want to try to make a park that's a little more aesthetically pleasing. But at the beginning, we are going to have to go solely off of efficiency to make sure that we can actually progress at the speed of which we'd like to progress. Because we don't want to be stuck at this level forever, bro. There we go. I had to feed a dinosaur for Owen. He's probably super... Oh, not Owen. For his French friend, Barry. Pet a creature by tapping on it. Done. Nailed it. Nailed that creature tapping. All right. Is this going to level us up? Come on. Nope, not quite. 
All right, we've got collect 1,000 coins from dinosaurs as our last mission. It's going to make me actually watch an ad to complete my daily missions. That's kind of lame. And by kind of lame, that's super lame. <laughs> I'm not going to watch an ad in the middle of my episode. That's dumb. Maybe we'll do it, though. Maybe we'll do it anyways. All right, let's see. Do we want to spend $50 on a not guaranteed T-Rex? The answer is a resounding no. Thank you. Let's see what this is. We can get a super rare for 99 cents. Oh, wait. Nope. 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 Not a super rare. <laughs> a chance for a super rare for 99 cents. I will say another comparison between this game and Jurassic World Alive is it feels like in Jurassic World Alive when you buy something in the store you know pretty much exactly what you're gonna get um, here not so much a lot more chance involved here this is the definitely more of a gambling game than Jurassic World Alive is there is some gambling in that and you're not sure what's gonna be in the incubator but you usually see like hey if you buy this, you are going to get at least this. And uh, you, I'm not seeing that here so far. But I'm sure there will be a PAX, PAX eventually that we pick up and we're super pumped about. All right, maybe we'll like find uh, an Indominus Rex pack for like 200 bucks. <laughs> Which we will not be purchasing <laughs> at all. All right, we've earned so many loyalty points. Look at that. We're at 215 out of the 10,000 that we would like to have to open <laughs> up a good pack in uh, in the loyalty store. All right, who do we got? Who do we, who do we, who do we got? We got a couple of Alenkas. Let's go ahead. Alenqua? I don't think it's Alenqua. I think it's Alenka, or else there would be a Q after the A, right? Right? That's how word wording works, I think. Let's go ahead and move our VIP building. Actually, no, let's just keep it there. Let's just let's just keep it there for right now. No idea how or when my VIP thing is going to update, by the way. Or why I even have it. <laughs> I genuinely don't understand where that came from. Alright, it wants us to do Hey, exclusive for us! Reach park level eight. We're at park level seven. So that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and murder this fool. Alright, we got a couple free speedies. And then, da, 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 we don't want him to be effective against us. We should be able to murder this dude with our Magicosaurus. I know it's not actually Magicosaurus, okay, but it's close enough. Right, what is he going to do here with his two points? He's going to attack for one, so he probably defended for one, presumably. Uh, let's see. So let's go. Tap, tap, defense. And unless he attacks for three, we should be good. If he attacks with three, we'll probably die, but he only has two. Did he defend for two? That's the question. Doesn't matter. He's going to die. This is death. Faux show. Four attacks should be plenty. Right? Nah, give it a <laughs> Nice. There we go. All right. I need to stop skipping that every single time. I want to see what the full animation was. In the PC version we were playing... It, like, glitched out every time if you tried to actually watch one of those, like, little victory animations. I did not mean to spend 25 cash on that. What a waste. <laughs> what a massive waste of 25 cash. But, oh, well. What you gonna do? All right. Combat level six. Hmm. I mean, we could definitely win this if we are willing to spend eight cash, which I am. Let's do it. Let's see. So we've got da, 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 da. So let's use, uh, we'll use it. That guy. And bring a tropo, tropo to fight. All right, we've got one rest. What's he gonna do with his two points? You, Ooh, it is a mystery. It is a mystery what he did with his points. Double defense, do you think? Or do you think he stored some of them? Let's go ahead and go one, two, one. All right, one defense. So we wouldn't have been able to kill him this round. So good thing we didn't attack. Content with that decision. Now he's got three points, and the three points are still a mystery. <laughs> all right, let's just go all in. We'll murder him, and then we'll worry about what we're going to do with the Triceratops when we get there. But we do have the type advantage. 
So at the very least, I don't think he's going to be killing us on this. T Ooh, five might be enough to kill us if he goes all in. It's going to be close, but I think I think we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. That 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 hurt. Impaled in the neck by a couple of horns. Unfortunately, he leaves himself vulnerable to a similar treatment by his clone. And that's all. She I did it again. <laughs> I keep skipping the victory thing. I might need one of those for a thumbnail, dude. All right, so we got to go on long. Go on long. What do you want? You wanted me to place four roads? That's so many roads, Claire. Gosh. Dang it. Clara? <laughs> Claire? Hey, we got a new reward. We are actually progressing in this season pass pretty quick. How long is it? How many points does it go up to? 7,200 and... F oh, wait, no. 8,300 is where we where we end up. That's it? That's all we get for completing the season pass? This is the final. That's super lame. All right, no good. No good. What? Really? That's what it promises you? <laughs> it's probably based off, it's probably also based off park level when you open these packs. I would have to assume because really up to 16 SDNA, there's not a lot of super DNA, yo. So it has to be, your rewards have to scale based on what level you are. It doesn't make sense any other way because those rewards are super lame. Can't do anything with those rewards. Totally not worth buying the season pass if, unless that scales up as, as you level up because dude, <laughs> come on, yeah, that is terrible. All right, let's go ahead and do in a little, little evolve in here. Get our level 20 Alenka going. All right, let's see. All right, he's still ugly and boring. That's that's super cool. We need to get to level 30, evidently, to make him look a little bit cooler. All right, let's go ahead and pop up. Bam! We are really opening this place up. 125 cash to expand. Not gonna happen, son. Not happening. All right, we can have free over here. Get a lima bean cooking. Nice. All right, hey, we're going places. <laughs> yes. Just like Mama said. All right, you want you want a road, Claire? How about that? <laughs> she loves it. She loves my road placement. I am a bit of an architect. Whoa, who is this person? The roads are smoother here than they are back home. Okay. What can I say? This place is a reflection of our dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a reflection of our dedication. All right. Can I get rid of these stupid things now? Get rid of all of them. Goodbye. Excellent. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> More dinosaurs are on the way. Feeding an herbivore three times. Well, I'm gonna need an herbivore in order. 25 cash of Mundos, dude. That's so much cash. Let's just open up an incubator. That's way cheaper. Okay, get another lima bean in here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Out of food. This is a major incident. We're not gonna be able to feed anybody. <laughs> That's not a good sign. The park's been open for 25 minutes and we're out of food. <laughs> somebody, somebody will run to Walmart and grab some Triceratops kibble. All right, we're good. We completed the, the objective here. That's all that really matters. All right, Claire, I'm clicking on your face again. Evolve one creature. Well, I have no more food. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a problem, Claire. Um, listen, can I take a, a food loan from somebody? Does anybody, <laughs> does anybody know, have like a rich uncle we could borrow some food from because we're in a bit of a pickle. All right, we got a couple. Let's see, bam, bam. All right, that should be enough, right? Bam, 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 bam. Not quite. How much food do we need? 1,600 food. How much food are we making here? Not that much. <laughs> All right. Do we have like a battle stage or something we could do to unlock food? Oh, right. Look at that. Reach park level eight. And then we could do to do a food mission. Let's do it. All right. We got a couple free bees. All right. Lima bean. 
Where are you at, boy? There we go. And then we've got an Irby and a Carney. Here we go. Not a Carney like somebody who is kind of terrifying and works at a carnival. That's not, not quite what I meant. All right. I am not going to skip the victory celebration roar this time. I would like to see it because I feel like I've never seen those before. Whoa, look at the lightning. That was super cool. So he spent his one of... Oh, wow. He spent a move on an attack and a swap. But he is super effective against me. So that super sucks. So now, obviously, in order to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He dead. He dead, boy. He dead, boy. Yeah, 115 versus his 104 health. I don't think this is going to end good for you, tropey. Well, he's dead. What a trope. All right. Guan Long. He's going long! Okay, we'll do a little switch. Uh, yes. I'm not really concerned, so we, let's just save it all and we'll leave this Triceratops out there to be a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> he's gonna die. Oh, he's not gonna die! All right, we're gonna keep pumping him into that and we'll just chip away at this guy. Oh, nice! Three on three, but. We're just gonna let this trike die eventually. And this Guanlong's gonna be wide open for my aquatic Lima Bean, who's gonna come up next. See, look at that. What a waste! You've fallen right into my trap, you foolish boy. All right, we've got all eight. We're going to rest four, attack with four. That should be enough. I didn't actually look, but yeah. Gut told me it was enough. It might have been overkill. But hey, he's dead, and we played it safe, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, well, he's gonna kill me and then we're gonna go in with eight points and attack <laughs> with a magic unicornosaurus. And I think, I think we've got this. And then I'm going to take my hands, I'm going to put them in my pockets so that I do not skip the sweet animations that are happening in front of us right now. Okay, yep, well, wow. Died so much you sent him to the shadow realm. <laughs> We saw a victory animation that was super underwhelming. Guan Long! Was I supposed to do that yet? I don't know. All right, let's go. Bing, bum. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Is that enough yet? Hey, we've got enough! Bada bing, bada boom, bada ziki, maha! Dang it. <laughs> so close. Let's go. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Excellent. All right, level 11, Limnoskelis. Sure, that's what we're going to go with. I prefer Lima Bean. It's much more fun. You looked hesitant out there. Maybe you should stick with the weaker herbivores next time. Ha <laughs> ha! Jerk. Get out of here. All of you, get out of my office. Lady, there's a Velociraptor right next to you. She's probably, she'll probably be fine. That's probably Move two decorations around the same creature. Guys, I only have one decoration in the park right now. Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me that my decorations are not... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I don't need to buy that. Psh, I've got another one. There we go. Uh... <laughs> I just have to pick it up and put it back down. And the kid is satisfied. All right. Well, you're so smart, dude. Collect 15 loyalty points? What? Ooh, I pet something, so that's nice. Uh, you got a different mission for me? Okay, excellent. This should pop us up to level eight. There we go. And we can get loyalty points by getting an, oh, right here. This is gonna be loyalty points in our bag. Oh, and the other child's gonna be so impressed with us. They're like, oh my gosh, you're my hero. You got 30 loyalty points. Whoa. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Oh my goodness, look at all these mission completes. It's so satisfying. <laughs> all right, what does she want? Who is this person? Was she in the movie? I don't even know. Uh, complete all daily missions and feed an herbivore five times. I have no food. Well, I do have some food now. Unfortunately, I can do that. And is this gonna give me? Okay, cool. So now I can feed this new one. That'll count. And it real the game really wants me to watch an ad. And I really don't want to watch an ad. But <sighs> level up two creatures to be at least level 20. Don't I have a level 20? Two level 20s. So if I had more food, we could level up Lima Bean 
and our Triceratops. <laughs> okay. Let's speed up our big boy. Come on. Argentosaurus! Welcome to the club, my friend. Stick it right there for now. Right, right, right next to your other plant-eating friend. Might want to watch your tail, Argentinosaurus. If your tail goes too far into the Triceratops enclosure, it may think it's a swaying branch and bite on and never let go. Okay, so that, that may be an issue. We may have to separate them at some point if uh, he, the trike starts to eat the, the other guy's tail, which would be great for the guests to see, though, because they would find that quite humorous. Probably make a ton of money off of attendance if we let the dinosaurs eat each other, but don't think this is that kind of game. All right, fine. We're going to do it. Uh, don't want to watch the ad. Ah! Interest base. I don't want interest. Oh, good. It's the makeover ad. I just watched this one in Jurassic World Alive. Dang it. Now this guy's going to totally screw up this makeover. He's going to throw mud on her. And then it's going to be a shower. And then he's going to shave her head bald. Something tells me this is not what the actual game is like. It's probably like a dumb matching game. Never trust the ads, people. They lie to you. They lie to you. This is the stupidest. This, I just, I, my migraine is returning right now. Just watching this with her gigantic parachute pants. Um, and now we're going to get an opportunity to do a little m making over. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and cut that hair. Excellent. It is cute. Now we push the jacket. And now she is chic. And if I give her the jewelry, it'll probably take me to the ad page, which I'm not going to do. Get me out of that crap. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's so happy. She needs a makeover. She looks like a crazy person. Oh. All right. Excellent. Why did it take me to that screen? Let's go ahead and claim our goodies now. Here we go. Daily missions. 17,000, 17,000, 25, and a legendary. That seems early. We can't even use aquatic dinosaurs yet. <laughs> yet somehow we have a, obtained an aquatic dinosaur. Can we even hatch it yet? Will it let us? It will let us use it. We just won't be able to access it until we're level 25. So I guess we can start stockpiling legendary aquatic creatures, even though <laughs> we can't use them. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing. It looks underwhelming. It was indeed very underwhelming. What a pack. What a pack of poopy. I got him. <laughs> I got him with that one. Sorry, Ludia. Listen, I'm sorry, but it's really your fault for making that pack so garbage. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and level up Lima Bean. Can we get him to 20? We can, but we do not have enough to get another dinosaur to level 20, which is why we go in here and we are going to do a food fight. <laughs> That's funny, food fight. Um, all right, let's go double herbivore. Because I would like to save my strongest dinosaur for the next and final round of this little event. And after this event, we're going to call it a day. This has been an exceptionally long first episode, but wanted to see how much progress we can make in day one. And uh, yeah, just um, I think we made, think we made quite some progress. Right, so we're going to go double save, one defense. Very much looking forward to, by the way, seeing your guys' strategies in the comments and pointing out how we can do much better in combat. Because uh, I could use it. I could definitely use it. This is... I don't remember any of the strategies we had previously. Which I know there was some, like, when you fight against a computer, it's like, do this specifically, do, do this specifically, and then do this, and you'll win, like, every time. Don't remember what those were. But that's no fun anyways. Is it really? Is it fun when you can just cheese it? I don't know. Yes, I guess. I guess the answer is yes, because progression is more fun than challenge, right? Or is the challenge more fun than the progression? I guess it just depends on the person you are asking these questions to. I'm so happy I saved my carnivore. I'm not. Okay, but we're going to go ba-bing, ba-da-bing. Those are perfect. We got the two type advantages rocking here. 
All right, so we got a Diplocalis versus an Alenka. We'll go ahead and save her. Two points, what you gonna do, boy? What you gonna do? Oh, it's going double attack. That was quite a foolish move, you stupid lizard. Will this be enough? It will be, and then we'll do a save. And here we go, we're gonna get a butt ton of food. Maybe be able to get another dinosaur to level 20, and then complete that mission and call it a day. And we'll pick this up in a couple days. All right, he saved everything. Oh yeah, well if you're gonna save everything, then I'll save everything. Oh, he saved everything but one. All right, he's only got four points, and next turn I'm gonna have eight. So, this is not looking good for you, Mr. Gonlong. Okay, he seemed very unhappy, our lima bean to be chucked into the battle arena as he shakes his head to and fro. Oh, here we go. <laughs> The cameraman never survives these battles. That poor man. That poor man will never see his family again. But his family will be able to be very proud of the fact that their dad got the dopest shot in the world on his way out of life. So, good job, dude. All right, bam. Here we go. We got another lima bean and all sorts of food to feed our friends. And that is a completed mission right there. Come on, Dr. Wu, I don't know why I'm working for you, because you're crazy. Gonna unleash gigantic bugs on the world. Place a newly hatched creature. Another time, perhaps, Dr. Wu, another time. Who is this lady? <laughs> She's so excited. Connect two buildings with the roads, how do we do that? Wow, you really can connect stuff with roads in this. Except you can't connect anything to an enclosure. So what is the point of that? I mean, I guess you wouldn't have people walking into an enclosure. That doesn't make any sense at all. You would go around the enclosure. Yeah, that makes sense. So never mind. I take back that criticism, lady, construction lady. You're doing a phenomenal job. We got planters and another battle stage. And, and another Argentinosaurus. Wonderful. So happy about that. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you... Oh, we got the tickets back! Buy prize drop tickets to fill your progress bar and unlock awesome prizes. Open the game daily to add extra progress and enjoy progressively better prizes each time your bar fills. Or... Or... We cannot do that. <laughs> All right, well, hey. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are excited for this new series and uh, just to progress all over again to do this and hopefully better fashion than we did it. Better and faster fashion than we did it the first time. But thanks for watching guys and I will see all of you on the flip side.